and that the MAP scholarship is filling in the gaps. Hi guys, welcome to another video and today we're going to be talking about an important topic the MAP scholarship in Manville College and we're gonna be answering a lot of questions for you guys you know incoming freshmen into Manville College which is the college we're attending we're currently going into our second semester of our freshman year so like and we're MAP students yes we're MAP students and we're just gonna kind of like just answer some questions and then give you some tips and like some experiences we've been through as MAP students so let's go to the Video. Right, so before we get into the video and actually like answering the questions, we're gonna explain to you guys what the MAP scholarship is. And the MAP scholarship is one of the many scholarships that are offered by Manhattanville College. So what it is, what it stands for is Manhattanville Advancement Program. So how do you apply? Well, the first thing that you do is for you to apply is that you could just literally search it up in Google Manhattanville MAP scholarship and put the map in capital letters and there's like a lot of links that um takes you to the application and also takes you to information like basically the information that it tells you is like how um if you can apply or not because it depends on your parents income like if your parents makes a certain amount higher than what it actually requires depending on how many uh, people you live with in your house then you might not be able to have the map scholarship so basically you um see first if you apply if you actually um a candidate for the map scholarship first what you do is you look to the link that guys that takes you to the questions like in the in the website it's gonna tell you we could put like the website so you can click on it and like it takes and some, you there and also like kind of like a tip to that um make sure so like when you first go to the link it's gonna give you like all the questions so make sure you copy and paste the questions into a google docs or a microsoft word doc right because once you enter the application it doesn't save so like let's say um you're working on it and you answer one question right but then you exit it's not gonna save so make sure you copy all the questions first into a doc or a microsoft whatever you're working on and then you answer all the questions and then once you're done with all the questions and you check them you check if there's any typos grammar you cho show it to a teacher or whatever your counselor then you copy and paste all those questions into the application which we're going to show you like the link in the website so yeah how many people can get the map scholarship so there's a lot of applicants every year but only eight people get chosen so the how it works is um you do the application and then they call you for an interview if you are applicable and they think you're a like, good match so they call you for an interview and then once you um you have to go to campus to so take the interview it's going to be like um it's gonna be like a whole day thing i think because it's like you, you're gonna have to go there and then your interview is gonna be like one hour two hours and then yeah only then they email you back if you actually get it so only eight people get it every year us two we were lucky that we were like we, we we went to the same high school right um so then we applied and then like how it is every year is like one person per high school but actually we were the first ones to be like two people from like the same high school so don't be afraid just try it out you never know what's gonna happen and like you know also another tip for like your questions on how to fill in the questions make sure for my part i took forever to to do the questions jessica did not she actually did the questions like this i think about it too much so what it helped me i think was the fact that i fill in everything to the best of to the best of my ability the more you put there the more chances you got you have because the math scholarship it was a way for them to get to know you without them seeing you so you have to tell through the questions your story basically you need to like give yourself in yeah, at the like, end of the day it's a competition right don't be afraid to like talk a lot about yourself don't be like oh i'm being selfish I'm just like talking. i'm bragging about myself no, yeah. you have to talk about everything you've done and how proud you are of it and you got to show them who you are and what makes you different from everybody else because at the end of the day like she said it's a competition and it's like there's a lot of students that really really hope they could get it only eight people 
get it yeah and then it's like it's funny because like on campus meeting people we're like oh we're map students and they're like oh i apply i didn't get it and we're like sucks <laughs> yeah the requirements to apply you just apply like good grades and sats they don't look at that that much Not really. like okay if you have sats you can send it and that could like increase your chances however they look at the student as a whole if you have a better history like my sats were not that good i think they also look at your resume so make sure like if you're a senior going like i feel like you already applied to college but like you should have a resume and like a good resume also like all your extracurricular activities and like a program so if you had any jobs if you have any like volunteering works and make sure you have like your resume like great and when you apply to Manhattan Bill, Manhattan Bill is a school that gives a lot of the scholarships. Like, don't even though if you don't get the ma the the map scholarship, don't like get sad and upset because like uh, because you wanted to go there but you didn't get it. There's like a lot of a scholarship that the school gives you because at the end of the day, the school wants you to go there. And if you actually want to go there, then they're gonna try to find a way to like make your financial um. Mm, your financial um status like lower like they want you to go to be there so they're gonna offer a lot of scholarships but like how does it work basically um they what they do is like for me they're paying everything look into it because it's like different students have different like um award letters there's like if you get it there's gonna be a thing that they give you which is an award letter and every like everything's gonna be there like all their money they're giving you is gonna be there but every student like just like we're like every student we gotta take a loan and then it's like a two thousand a two thousand dollar loan per year so but that's to, not a lot thinking about no, it yeah. like you if you work on campus you got it like you did you save up every student um in new york gets a fast side tap right and then you when you apply to my Bill college based on your grades they're going to give you a scholarship i got the twenty three thousand dollars scholarship and then i got money from the government so what map does is like they fill in the gap of what you know needs to be covered because you know the government might, you know to Mahanville's tuition is 36k and then if you live there it's gonna be more expensive right so in total it's gonna be 56,000 a right. year which is a lot and then it, it includes the meal plans and includes um housing um and everything like books and stuff like that but you need to keep that in mind that the map scholarship is filling in the gaps you know that you know that you cannot afford yeah pay because, out of pocket. yeah because at the end of the day they're gonna give you a lot of scholarships believe it or not even though you don't think they're gonna give you scholarships they are gonna give you scholarship once you accept it they're gonna be like oh they give you a letter of like this is how, how much we're giving you and then if you have the math scholarship then the math scholarship fills that gap then it's like a full missing. ride it it's is a full, full ride, ride. At the end of the day, you don't have to you don't have to worry about financial stuff, except for the loans that you took, which is not a lot at all. Because I mean, I feel like every student, like even though you got a full ride, you still gotta pay for loans. It's something like every student has to pay for. But us as a math student, we only have to take up two thousand um, dollars per year, so that's nothing. And um, is it all four years? Once you're a math student, you're always a math student. They give you the the, the scholarship for like all four years so like you don't have to worry about like oh i'm a math student for only one year and then i don't have the money to pay next year no do you get the scholarship for like the all four years however though if you want to do your master's and it's out of the four-year range then the math scholarship is not going to cover so then you're going to have to pay out of pocket for that so it's something you have to like keep in mind also like which major you're going to if you want to do it um if you want to do a master's or not because the master's degree is not covered by the math scholarship yeah but you know you could um save save the money and like then you know pay your own tuition for also math. something very important is that the math scholarship is for incoming freshmen like for example if right now you're a freshman in college and you're watching this video you cannot get the math scholarship because it's only for incoming freshmen like high school to um college so then that's something very important that you need to keep in mind so yeah then you get the the, the letter oh you are a candidate for the maps for a map student right but that doesn't mean that you already got the map scholarship because that was the first step like they probably choose like 50 students out of like the 500 that they like apply and then 
you uh you have to go through an interview and that interview that's where they that's why they test you about like like they want to see who are who are you as a person like to see if like all the questions that you answer is like sh truly show yourself when they were reading it and you're also showing yourself when they're with you so for my part i'll say the interview um of course you're gonna be nervous so i'm not gonna be like oh don't be nervous because it's something like default you're gonna be nervous so i'll just say take deep breaths before going in please eat breakfast if it's in the morning or eat something before and then um drink water and if, go with somebody who you know is going to be supportive or if you're going to go alone it's okay because they have the students there that are very supportive and have staff that are very supportive and welcoming and then just like study the person who's going to like kind of um interview you um they're going to send you like their name or something so try to google them see who they are because like then you can find a topic that it kind of relates to like you and the interviewer so then it's going to be like for example i when i went i kind of we both did this we kind of googled the person that was gonna um interview. interview us and she was big in social justice so then i knew that in my, like we both knew that in both in our interviews we were gonna mention that right yeah because we actually relate to it we react, yeah don't be lying please yeah so try to like you know because then you're not being honest and then it's not fair but if you, you know to see if there's something that could relate both of you guys and then so that you can have like a nice conversation and then they can see how passionate you are and they can see how like intelligent and like passionate you are so yeah that's my take all right so once you already got like the the letter like an email or the call that you are a candidate for the Bible scholarship stay in contact with them don't be i never asked them like who were gonna be my um the people who were going to interview me but jessica did so don't be afraid to ask them oh hey who, who, who are the people who are going to interview us you know like they're gonna tell you and once they tell you that's when you do the research you know like you do your research on those people and you also do the research on the school yeah. don't go to the interview without not knowing anything because at the end of the day you want to go to this school you want to show them that you deserve the scholarship and you're the best candidate that so for that you need to like know the history of the school like not the whole history but like know a little bit of the school like what the school offers what you are really passionate that the school offers and like also one thing that is was really like helpful for me another tip was that i got there two hours early it was snowing so you know like i was trying to avoid um avoid any traffic, like yeah, traffic yeah, yeah. so i got there two hours earlier one one hour i stayed in the car but the other hour i decided to go to the castle and whilst i was waiting they told they asked me oh do you want to go on a tour i was like no i've already been to the school and um that's the thing sorry to interrupt you yeah. but make sure that before you even like i mean i feel like the college process is very advanced right now but make sure you go visit the college and you and you see for yourself and then you gotta introduce yourself to many people because you need to you know like we always say to students that want to go to the college you gotta get yourself known and you do that by going to, to the college but it's always a way to see if you actually like the school for yeah. yourself you know like so what happened was that i was like no it's okay but the person told me oh there's another math student that is here do you want to talk to him and mind it, I still had an hour. Yeah. So I was so nervous. And that hour, I was able to talk to that math student that he calmed me down. He he talked to me. I was like, oh, I really want this scholarship. I was just like being honest with him. And he was like, just, he just gave me the best advice. Be you. Yeah. Be you because just like how you talking to me, he said, I would actually pick you for a math student. And it was because I was being myself. Like at the end of the day, they want to see that. They want to see that you're really passionate and that you really are a fit for Manhattan Bill College. Right. Another tip is, um, go well dressed. Um, you know, don't go like you don't care about how you look because at the end of the day, you're basically telling them that you actually just, care for this college. Yeah, and it's like you want to present yourself the best you can. You want to be the best you can, and like how you dress and how you look actually does impact when it comes to interviews and then make sure like when you're talking you know be straight your hands off the table and then you're like looking at them trying to make as much as eye contact as you can like the room is going to be like a very big room so don't be like looking around looking around try to look at the person who it is we this year um this year we don't know who's going to do the interviews because the staff has changed 
so we're not i don't know who's gonna do the interview but make sure that you're i feel like some it's gonna be somebody very nice because everybody's very nice everybody's nice that's something that i came in with i thought that everybody's gonna was gonna be like oh hi what's your name you know like i thought they were always gonna have their straight face they were smiling with us they really they really were paying attention to you and <clears throat> They were really nice. Like it was my first inter interview ever too. So like just the fact that I was able to be myself, like I laugh, I make them laugh, you know, like at the end of the day, these are the people who you're gonna be a family with. Yes. Who you're gonna have content with in the within the school. So. so yeah, make sure you leave a good impression and you know, good eye contact. Um and yeah. And don't be scared to stutter because even though you practice you are gonna stutter, but you know, just try to be yourself and and they're just gonna ask you some questions. So like, I feel like you say answer. three or four questions, five the most, maybe six. It depends how long your answers are, but yeah. Yeah, but they're really nice questions. They're really short and nice, and you just answer them truly. And, and uh, yeah, no, we're not gonna give you the questions. <laughs> um, because <clears throat> they're a lot. Even though I have like six questions they have like a whole paper fill of questions so like they choose random questions to ask you so like the same questions that they ask me they might not ask the same questions to jessica you know now we're gonna talk about once we got the math scholarship <laughs> the next what happens when you get it so when you have the math scholarship is gonna be very exciting it's gonna be a time yeah. we're gonna be really like proud of yourself but it's just the beginning so don't think oh i got it like i'm cool now no this is when the work really starts so then we're gonna kind of like talk on our experience because this might change for your um kind of cohort so i don't know if you guys wanted the same things we did but for us we had to move in august um 11th which was two weeks before school actually started and then we moved in we were kind of it was like exciting because it was, like, only eight students well there's staff and other students that work there but only like eight um freshmen were there so it's like whoa like we had the whole college for ourselves actually and then it was only eight people right so then the, um you move in um so they're gonna give you like the day they're gonna give you like the agenda for the day and kind of like the schedule for the two weeks you're gonna have two mentors yeah you're gonna have two mentors maybe because we don't know so we don't know how many mentors you're gonna have but we have two mentors which were claudia and, and Lendi. Lendi, which we're really proud Shout out to we're, we're, we love them so much you're gonna fall in love with your mentors because they really care about and they help you a lot so how does the week work basically every day you have to wake up early go to breakfast right then after breakfast what they do is two one hours class. two uh, one class math and english so it's like two hours of math two hours of english then two hours of study hall however between those like classes and, and gaps like you have workshops like those workshops helps you like know more about the school what is yeah. going on in the school for example like one day we went to the library and we kind of like where we were able to like um we, we already see the resources the, yeah and we were able to talk to some staff members and kind of get like ourselves known you know there's gonna be a lot of like introduce yourself like go around circles and say something interesting about you there's gonna be that's gonna be all two weeks and actually like your first week of college so make sure like you know you are like not afraid to talk to people and then like um so yeah we went to the library we went to the castle we went to talk to some counselors they gave you like the study abroad counselors like if you ever want to study abroad which you should um and they help you too so like um they're gonna give you all the resources so like those two weeks you're gonna like be so familiarized with the school you're gonna get to know the campus because you're like touring around too and it's gonna be hot so like it's like the campus is gonna be so green and so wonderful um, i recommend you to take a fan yes that's the that's that's probably the best tip we've given you so far please take a fan with you move in day take a window fan with you write this down window, window fan window, window fan, fan. <laughs> you're gonna need that so much because when we first moved in we kind of took like two little fans so then we then we bought a window fan but yeah you're gonna need that because it's gonna be hot like really hot, hot. and no there's no ACs in the room so you need that okay probably two the probably two yes because it's really really hot um, and then for the throughout the two weeks yeah we just do classes and kind of get familiarized with the campus and then they take us out and um, we went to see a broadway show yeah once you like get the hard work done like once you like do your best like because at the end of the day they're trying to see like if you pass the the, the classes 
you're gonna pass this really easy they really help you they're always on top of you you're gonna think oh my god this is so frustrating because it's all it's a lot i'm not gonna tell it's a lot but it gets you prepared for college like for the beginning like the beginning seems so easy compared to those two weeks and then refer to our move-in video because there you know if you're gonna be able to see how like kind of like the room works and then you're gonna kind of like see when we were like in the conference like that was the first day of us being there so you're kind of gonna it's gonna be kind of similar so make sure you watch that video and you kind of see for yourself now throughout the semester once you're in my app scholarship there's some requires requirements that you need to follow but for us we have to do 15 hours of community service every semester we also have to visit four um <clears throat> four events from the school like it's really easy because like the school has a lot of events and it's like so good and they're really interesting events and fun events it's just like you're never bored plus an, an advantage of being a math school student is that you actually leave on campus so that's dope also another requirement is that your gpa cannot go below a 2.8 um so yeah it's just like you got I mean it's a scholarship so it's like that's what you need to expect you have requirements and you need to keep on top of your academics because at the end of the day that's what you're in college for academics and you know keep you know i, I guess it keeps me motivated actually yes. to be doing good in my i didn't see it as like a oh there's a requirement i have to know i just thought that's something yeah. that you know it can be motivated to actually do it also when you're a map student you're gonna have to do a meeting a bi-weekly meeting with your supervisor our supervisor is addie and we love her she's like our mom yeah she's, she's so like nice. the person we tell all our secrets to believe it or not you're gonna need that person there to cry to like tell them all the gossip or stuff that is happening and also you need 10 hours of um either like tutoring or, or the writing center sense or the writing center and then men you have to go see your mentor so that's the three things you have to do throughout the semester which you're actually gonna need it and you're not gonna be like i have to do i have to do it you're gonna need to do and it. you're gonna it's, it's gonna be easy once you like get your stuff like plan out like yeah. everything is gonna go smoothly believe it or not like you enter with an advantage because you know the whole school already you know your classrooms like make sure you visit your classrooms uh during the two yeah they're actually gonna give like for us they give us like i think it was like a day or something for us to like kind of like walk around brownstone hall which is the main academic hall and then you kind of like so you're gonna have your schedule already because that's one thing you're gonna have to make your schedule before moving in and I feel like that's the best for you to do. Some people didn't do it and it wasn't like a big problem or anything, but you make sure you do your schedule as soon as you can because you can choose the classes you really want. Yeah. Also try to go to the orientation before you move in. The school is really nice. We don't regret anything. Not really. Like we loved our school. We love our classes. We got, there's gonna be a lot of things that you're gonna get frustrated with yourself. You're gonna cry, you're gonna feel happy, you're gonna feel like this person, you're gonna feel like my favorite experience was when we all got to meet all the map scholars so like from different grades and we had like pizza and we had wings and all that we had like a lot of food that's one thing they also like buy you a lot of food and like you know that's good because i love food and then uh, we were kind of like vibing around getting to know all the other um all the other all the other map students who are like now in uh, um sophomores, sophomores juniors seniors and then it was like you know, I saw myself surrounded by a lot of people that, you know, I could relate to. And then, like, my favorite experience was, like, when we were in a circle. We had to do the, like, say your name, one thing, you know. And they gave us, like, what advice, like, of, yeah. as a math student. So that was really It's kind of like you also get to know, because, them. like, we're, the, we're math students for a reason. Like, we're struggling either in our family, family we have something family. that kind of relates us all. And then relate us all and then we kind of like got to see what related or related us all oh. like we saw each other's like history and then like you know you got to meet a lot of cool people and then you know the other like older map students they were like you know i got you and it's like a family it's like, a family at the end of the day the maps they're always like really close to each other we always got our bags so like you know um for me one experience was uh when we actually the only eight people the all a map students we got to our room our dorm and we decided to like play a game with like a spoon yeah and, school, like so shout out to Leila for showing us it's like we were just like so since it was like the eight of us it was like only us vibing there yeah it was really a nice like experience it was really like all together so yeah you got, as a map student you're gonna have so much fun and i hope you get it because if you do everything we told you and you like 
you know, want this for real. Get yourself known in the school. If you're school. a junior in high school, sophomore in high school, Start you, know, you want to go into Mahando College, you click this video for a reason, you know. Just start doing your research about the school visit sometimes. And, you know, if you have any questions, comment down below because we're at the end of the video. And this is it, guys. Remember, your life is your canvas and you're the masterpiece. Bye! Don't forget to subscribe and like this video.